Okay, are you ready for another Red Hot Real Estate rant? Because here it comes. Sellers, you are selling a product. It is called your home. Please do not be there when we come to see it. If we wanted to meet you, we would invite ourselves over for dinner. We, I'm sure you're lovely people, but we don't need to meet you and talk to you and watch you sitting out on the back porch having a cigarette. And we assume if you're having a cigarette on the back porch, you're probably smoking on the inside of the house too. So that's probably not a good deal. Have a little shame on that and hide the cigarettes. The other thing, we don't need your dishes in the sink and all that because you just are running out of the house so we can show it. You should know when we're coming. Typically, you get 24 hours notice to show. But if you um, want to maximize every showing, be ready for showings that might happen in the next five hours. When you leave the house, make the bed. Put the dishes away. You know, even having your agent there when you want to show the house is not the best. Whenever I'm showing and buyers and, I, and I'm coordinating and I got to talk to the agent and they're like, oh, is, is the agent going to be there? I'm like, yeah. So, and they're like, oh, great. No, but your agent is a professional. They've done an amazing marketing job, I'm sure. They've taken professional photographs. They've got a tour going. They have features and benefits listed on attachments in the MLS or left in the house. We don't need them there following us around telling us what the appliances are. At this point, we're not interested in what we've already read on paper. What buyers want to do is they want to come in. They want to feel their way through it. They want to open your kitchen drawers because guess what? They want to know what the quality of the drawers are and they want to see how much space is in there. They want to open your closets. I go into houses all the time where if there's an agent around or whatever, the, the, the buyers are looking around like that and I'm opening closet doors so that they can see what they're buying. They are buying a product. We're not here to be polite and to, to, to not open a door because you know we're here for dinner and we don't want you catching us looking in your closet door. We want to see that master closet. We want to see what closet space you have in all of your rooms. We also want to feel our way through it. Remember this, as the real estate agent, this is my chance to find out what they don't like about your house and to overcome those objections or to just move on. So if I don't have those objections because you're sitting in the backyard or your agent's hovering over me or whatever, if I don't have the time and the space to help them say, well, you know, I, I really just the kitchen. I, I just really, I know they just redid it, but it's not my taste. Well, let's talk about what it is that you could change about the kitchen, even though it's just been redone, not to your taste. How much would that cost? Maybe they're turned off by things that it's too dark in the house, but they don't want to say that out loud while you're outside and while they just met you and you were so nice to them. Get in your car, turn on the air conditioner, drive around the block. I want to be able to say to them, to them, the reason it's dark in here is because they've chosen dark colors of paint. If you lighten it up with paint colors or opening the blinds, that's another one. Open your blinds. Open your blinds, people. You are selling a product. Your home is your product. And it's going to be the buyer's home someday. They've got to have the time to be able to feel their way through it. I can't tell you how often we sit in the kitchen at the kitchen counter or stand in the kitchen. That seems to be the place. So leave chocolates on the countertop so people could want to stand there. Make sure that kitchen is light and bright and clean, people. Wipe down those countertops. The kitchen is where we stand and talk about the house. Make the house easy to show. We don't care what your work schedule is. Make it easy to show. Let me tell you something. Every house gets a nickname if it's really bad or really good. So if it's one of the worst ones we see or one of the best ones we see, your house is going to get a nickname. Is your house going to be the dog smelling house? Is your house going to be the dirty house? Is your house going to be the what were they thinking house? Or is your house going to be the pottery barn house? Or is your house going to be the one that the, that the owners obviously took such care in the quality of what they took care of the house? Even houses that are not updated buyers notice if you give their real estate agent a chance to mention it to them and have a conversation with them in the house newer systems 
that there's no wood rot, that, er, that the air conditioning, field, everything are clean, that, that this house has been so well and lovingly maintained, that the quality of what's been done, even if it was done in the 1960s or the 1980s, was done well. Clean, clean, clean your house. This is a product that you are selling. Allow us the time and the space to go through your house and look at what we're buying. Okay, enough about your my rant. Sorry to go on and on, but sellers, your agent may be too polite to tell you all of this, but it's the truth. You're selling a product and we've got buyers who want to see what they're buying and want to be able to talk about it. Give us a chance to do that while we're in the house so that they don't want to just get out of there because they're uncomfortable and move on and just forget it. And we go on to the next one because there's the next one and the next one. We want to stay in your house. I want to help you sell your house. I want to help my buyers, buyers find the right house. And if it's yours, let me do my job. Let your agent do their job. It's very important. Thanks for listening to my rant going on and on. Love you guys.